guys welcome back to another video as you guys can see as you guys can see we're on a new release all right i'm ex super extremely excited to be playing on the new release of backpack battles this is going to be absolutely amazing all right so i'm gonna I'm pretty much just be making a bunch of videos on all the new content so if you guys are interested in that, be sure to hit that sub if you're new here. And if you're not new here, thank you. All right, I appreciate you. So we're gonna be taking a first look at the Pyromancer, at the new items, what they are, what she's all about, and what you can pretty much expect from the Pyromancer, right? All right, so just taking like a, a nice little look at her. All right, she looks freaking amazing, okay? Pyromancer, she's, she's gonna be all about fire, all right? Essentially, she's gonna be all about fire. Um, She starts with the fire pick, which sp it, it when you enter the shop, it spends one gold and generates a flame. And then at the start of the battle, you gain five maximum health for each fire item inside. And the flames themselves, you pretty much start the battle with heat, which is actually really, really awesome because that gives a the easiest way possible of getting any type of heat items in the game whether it be coal um or the fire torch or anything fire related you know what i mean this is probably the easiest way of getting it pyromancer right um so yeah you also start off with a wooden sword which is pretty similar to the ranger which is actually pretty interesting um i'd say this is i, I, don't, I don't know pyromancer and ranger might be sisters honestly and as far as all of the unique items when it comes to the pyromancer here they are this entire screen just looks extremely colorful now i fuck with it all right this is all of the items i was honestly um i'm, I'm surprised to see a bunch of dragons here honestly um I, I i i don't know what i was expecting but this is really really interesting so we already went over to flame right we got it looks like one new food item when it comes to the pyromancer which is chilling this is my first time seeing this by the way okay this is all i haven't seen a single item Okay, so I'm gonna be hyped this entire time. All right, so this is the chili pepper, which every five seconds you gain one heat and you heal for five. This is very similar to the banana with uh, when it comes to its healing. So yeah, you gain one heat and you heal for five. And when you have 10 heat, you cleanse one debuff, which is kind of interesting. I do like the gaining of heat over time every five seconds. The second ability, the cleansing of 10 doesn't seem, you know, or the cleansing of one when you have at least 10 flame doesn't seem all that crazy to me. It's only cleansing one debuff. You know, when you're in late game, you got like 20 debuffs on you, right? 50 poison on you. So this doesn't seem to be extremely strong, but I figure gaining that one heat, you're going to try to want to try uh, to gain as much heat as possible on the, uh, on the Pyromancer apparently. So yeah, that's pretty much that spell scroll there's spells now or is it i wonder if there's other spell scrolls that is interesting okay a spell scroll frostbolt so it seems like it's yeah it's like fire and ice except uh the emerald Whoop. but yeah it, it looks like this entire pyromancer situation is just a bunch of fire and ice and i love it um so yeah spell scroll you deal five damage and inflict four cold for three seconds max uses is three increased by each ice item interesting so the max uses you can use this is three times which means it's going to last for nine seconds right and each time you're going to deal with five damage and inflict four cold for three seconds right which it happens every three seconds and the cold lasts for three seconds so pretty much for nine seconds you're going to have four cold on the enemy and it increases each time for each ice item except spell scrolls um, so that I, I'm assuming that means there's other spell scrolls, right? But it can't increase per spell scroll. Like you can't have two of the, the exact same spell scrolls to increase the uh, the ice item. So you got to have different type of ice items. Awesome. And you can see at the bottom there, it says that the, the item is an ice magic item. So I guess you got to find other ice. Like this is a uh, frozen flame is an ice item um, or ice armor, probably frozen. Yeah. So that's that's really that's really really cool actually okay interesting how they got like a fire and ice situation going on here next one is the book of ice it uses two mana to inflict three cold 10 percent chance to cast this spell scroll for free i wonder if that bypasses the three max uses or not so if you just get a book of ice and then you just put the spell scroll right next to the book of ice can you just keep using the spell scroll as many times as you want every time that the book of ice uses that too i mean it's only a 10 percent chance though like that's not a that's not a high percentage at all you might have to put some piggies on this guy you know what i mean um but that's a that's a it has very interesting and the the ice stays forever you know what i mean huh 
or the cold the cold stays forever that, that this combined with dark saber might be kind of crazy i mean it's, a, it's it seems like an infinite way of just slowing down your enemy and we all know dark saber plus cold equals w you know what i mean so that is that is freaking dope next item we have is the draconic orb which 15 heat reached your next five hits are critical that reminds me of the uh, the deck of cards crit thing but yeah, your next five hits are critical that's very interesting every 2.5 seconds remove one spikes from your opponent and gain one heat per remove spikes that is like another way of combating uh bloodthorn other than the ripshaw blade it kind of reminds me of the ripshaw blade in a way you know what i mean so this could be pretty freaking interesting this could be a, a, a way of critting on this character unless there's some other ways of critting on this character but it could be a way of critting on this character you know what i mean next five hits are critical especially you have like maybe just two of these and you, you should be straight you know um but yeah that's pretty interesting another way of gaining heat as well i mean you have to go against an opponent with spikes you know you're kind of dependent on that um but still the next five hits are critical is pretty interesting that way you don't i don't even know if you can get clovers on this character or not you know that'd be pretty interesting this might be the only way to crit unless there's there's probably a different way look at that guy okay we're, we're not there yet okay we're not there yet you're not there yet okay next one we got is the molten dagger um which on hit you use one heat and you gain two damage that is actually per that's like an infinite dps scaling molten dagger the cooldown is slow though it's a 3.5 i don't i don't know what the default cooldown i think the default cooldown for daggers was what 2.5 seconds right or something it might be 3.5 i'm not sure i don't know off the top of my head but that is a pretty slow dagger but at the same time it infinitely scales dps but it is only is what two damage every 3.5 seconds on an increase um but it's only a dagger you know what i mean like this could be pretty cool to hammer build you know since the daggers themselves since infinity scale dps all you got to rely on then is that stun which you can use you know the dagger for that right um especially if there's a dragon in here that stuns like the uh the ruby chunk or something but yeah that's 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 interesting you know that's that's really really cool and you know the fact that daggers don't use stamina is even better you can easily just speed up the daggers with heat you know what i mean i mean it is a heat build you know you just speed up the daggers with heat every time all of them attack they gain two damage infinitely scaling dps you know um i mean hey i mean it, it does use up heat though so it is you know that's another way of using up your heat so they do get slower every time they attack but still that's still pretty cool um next one is the molten spear all right use one hit or use one heat to hit instead wait what before miss whoa that's a new mechanic okay before miss I'm assuming if you're about to miss, you don't, all right? And it, like, if you're about to miss, you're going to use that one heat instead so you can guarantee a hit and deal three plus damage. Interesting. I wonder if it's in your favor to have low accuracy then. I mean, the accuracy is 65%, which if you're going against like, um, if you're going against a lightsaber build or something like that, or a build that just gives you a bunch of blindness, this would be the kryptonite, honestly, because you're going to hit instead and you're going to deal that plus three damage, which is pretty crazy. Um, and then you destroy four uh, block for each fire item in front of it, which is pretty much just like the regular spear, except a fire item in front, which is pretty cool, though. That way you can actually utilize that space versus it, you know, not having anything in front of it like the regular spear. But that is really, that's a new mechanic. That's really interesting. Before miss, use one heat to hit instead and deal plus three damage. It doesn't have an infinite DPS scaling or anything like that. It's not like it keeps the three damage throughout, but still pretty damn cool. I like that one. Uh, next one is the burning sword, which only hit 60% chance to gain one heat. So there's the infinite way of getting heat and 60% is pretty high that's a that's a, that's decently high you know what i mean plus uh put that on like some some piggies or something like that you could probably get that up to 80 percent or something pretty interesting um five heat gain this and oh wow this and the star weapons gain plus one damage five heat gain imagine you have like three of these or something like that okay that is really interesting. And there's what one, two, three, four, five. So there's six stars on here. Can you imagine the burning sword with six molten daggers? And then you just really you you pretty much just utilize this as a way of gaining infinite heat. You know what I mean? I mean it's only a 60% chance, but still, that's double DPS increase. Double infinite DPS scaling increase right there. That is that is pretty interesting. I like that. I like that. Next one is the chili goober, which I'm assuming you just make from chilies the same way you make like 
any other goober you know carrot goober or whatnot uh what do you do heal for 10 and gain two heat okay another way of in okay that's that's pretty simple that's pretty simple you know what i mean that's really cool though it's a little bit more healed than a regular goober and you gain heat interesting and i'm assuming you're going to utilize this with all the other um gooberts in order to make the rainbow goober you know what i mean that's pretty damn cool though okay okay heal for 10 i don't really know if i like that heal i do like the gaining of two heat it, it seems a little underpowered for me though just to heal. i mean it's pretty easy to make though i'm assuming it's just two chili peppers you know what i mean which they heal in themselves so i it, it makes sense it makes sense it definitely makes sense five act, okay interesting okay the frozen buckler i wonder how you make this like which ice items are you going to use probably a frozen flame combined with a regular buckler that's the only thing i can think of that's the only thing i can think of a frozen flame combined with a regular buckler to get this 35 percent chance to prevent five damage okay remove 0.5 stamina and inflict one cold up to 10 interesting so you're gonna make your opponent 20 percent slower wow interesting depending on how this is made this could be worth it honestly it honestly could be worth it i'm assuming you used a frozen flame now probably not though because the frozen flame is a unique item so yeah i'm not sure what item you would use to get yourself a frozen buckler interesting yeah that's a unique that's a unique okay interesting okay. unless there's a new neutral item or something huh that's pretty cool though i love how they're doing like this fired eye situation back and forth that's really dope Next one is the ice armor, which I'm assuming you just make from regular armor and like the ice item, whatever the ice item is going to be. Gain 45 block and inflict four cold at the start of battle. In every five seconds, uses one heat to inflict two cold and gain 10 armor. Wow. It's like a different take on vampiric armor, essentially. Pretty much a different take on vampiric armor. Okay. 10 block isn't that high, to be fair. You know what I mean? But the inflicting of cold is the interesting part you could definitely do a mixture of ice and fire probably an all ice build maybe an all fire build this has versatility the pyromancer has versatility i wasn't expecting all this ice stuff you know pyromancer fire i wasn't expecting all this ice stuff it's got versatility though and i love it right every five seconds i there's not a way to speed this up like the other armors like corrupted armor or whatnot to be able you know the stars around it and stuff to speed it up um but still pretty pretty cool you know what i mean use this one uh to inflict two cold and gaining two or ten block you can you can honestly rock a bunch of like the book of ice a bunch of ice items combined with the dark um the dark saber and all that cold just stacking up, increasing the DPS of the Dark Saber, plus all the the fire items increasing the speed of the Dark Saber. That that sounds like a pretty nasty build. I'm being honest, pretty nasty build. Next one is the Phoenix. That thing is strong. I mean, it's only seven DPS a second, but 15 to 20 damage, pretty nutty. On attack, you lose 10 health. Okay, before defeat, use all of your heat to reincarnate with 10 health per heat wow wow okay that is interesting so every time you attack or not every time you every time the phoenix attacks it takes away 10 of your health you're gonna have to have some form of healing if you're gonna use this or otherwise you might be able to kill yourself kind of just like the vampiric armor takes away your health you know what i mean um interesting though interesting unless you got like a bunch of block that could be useful too uses up all your heat to reincarnate that's the crazy part it's, imagine you got 10 of these you're just not gonna die you're just not gonna die and then the fact that it gives you health for um each heat 10 health for each heat imagine you die with like 100 heat you have a thousand health you come back <laughs> with a thousand health is freaking insane even just one of these i i don't know this is pretty this item c is pretty crazy honestly as I seems is pretty crazy. Wow. Okay. Reincarnate. Interesting. You're going to have to have a lot of heat. I would stack up as much heat as possible if I'm rocking a Phoenix, bro. For real. Okay. So I just realized each one of these dragons has their own eggs. So you got the Emerald Egg, Sapphire Egg, Amethyst Egg. Okay. And then Amethyst Whelp, Emerald Whelp, Sapphire Whelp. Gotcha. You got Ice Dragon, Obsidian Dragon. I wonder how you make those. Ooh. But the Emerald, it started battle game three. Um three luck and then hatches after two rounds pretty simple right 
this one all these are probably going to be simple gain four at the start of battle hatches after two inflict four random debuffs hatches after two you know pretty simple stuff pretty simple let's take a look at um is this any different than a regular goober heal for 20 gain doesn't seem like it except for maybe apart from the heat or whatnot but yeah just a regular you know your normal 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 regular degular rainbow goober right there amethyst whelp okay inflict four random debuffs at the start of battle and then only hit remove a random buff from your opponent that can be pretty interesting little underwhelming in a way but still pretty interesting removing a random buff that could be really useful for vampiric builds though vampiric and uh in in spikes that could be pretty interesting for that that's pretty dope the staff of fire damn okay hold up on attack use two mana and two he oh so you're using two mana and two heat the gain plus five damage though five that's a big number every time you hit that's a really big number. i'm assuming this is mana uh mana staff uh combined with honestly i can see this being mana staff combined with the draconic orb just because they both have the circles and his little dragon icon so yeah probably mana staff that's a that's you know this is an epic accessory right so that's a pretty hefty uh combination it is a legendary item, but Jesus, plus five. Two mana and two heat to gain plus five. And plus five is a big number. That number is huge, okay? I think that's the biggest DPS infinite scaling you can get. Plus five? I've seen plus ones. I've seen plus twos. But a plus five every time you hit? That's pretty nutty. That beats the mana torch right out of water, okay? This... <laughs> this is pretty damn amazing okay jesus christ that's a strong item all right burning blade on a hit gain one heat okay four heat gain this weapon and the star weapons gain plus one damage whoa that's kind of similar to this one no wait 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 yeah i mean this is four heat gain this one is five heat gain this is a 60 percent chance this one is a a hundred percent chance I wonder if this is just the hero sword, like the hero long sword combined with a little bit of flame to get the burning blade. I mean, that's what it looks like, right? I'm not tripping, right? Because this is obviously the hero sword, right? It's small. You can even see the hero sword under it. So this is obviously the hero sword, plus probably just a little bit of flame to make that. I'm assuming if that's the case, this has got to be the hero long sword, right? That is, that is definitely better. Yeah, I'd rather just go to Hero Longsword versus trying to go a Burning Sword. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, this is definitely better. You know? And then 4 gain instead of 5 gained. You know? It's better. Uh, DPS scaling and everything. Interesting. Okay. Okay, they pretty much took the Mana Torch and was like, Hey, combine that <laughs> with some Fire Blade and we got you. I like this item though, Burning Blade. I like this item interesting very 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 interesting this kind of this combo right here kind of reminds me of uh of the mana uh the mana thirst plus um magic torch honestly you got one that that infinitely gains heat and then you got the other one that just uses it you know what i mean pretty interesting though i like that i like that next one is frostbite this thing looks sick okay this thing looks amazing look at that that thing looks dope Okay, on hit, 70% chance to inflict one cold. Oh, deals plus one damage per vampirism? I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, but yeah, deals plus one damage per vampirism and 0.5 damage per cold. That's the dark saber. That's pretty much a dark saber on steroids, no? Because the Dark Saber is 0.5 damage to every debuffs, but like if the only debuff you're stacking on or your main debuff that you're stacking on is cold, you might as well just use the Frostbite, you know what I mean? And then it also gains damage per um per um vampirism. And it's not like you're using mana to put on cold. Like the Dark Saber, you have to use mana to put on blindness. This one just gives you cold. 70% chance, but still, it literally just gives you the cold. 
You know what I mean? And then on top of that, when the opponent reaches 30 cold, you're gaining five vampirism, bro. That's insane. How do you make that? I gotta know what cold item you have to use to make this. Uh, the only thing that looks like is the frozen flame, right? Unless there, there's got, well, wait. What if you actually use the flame or, or there's a way to, well, I don't know, but I, I don't know, but that, that it, it's freaking awesome. This item, all these items seem really strong, especially the frostbite and the staff of fire. This seems really freaking strong. I'm excited to use this. I'm excited to use this. Okay, okay, let me call now. Let me call now. Okay, next item. Next item. Whoa, look at the stars in that thing. It's got freaking eight stars on the left and right side. Okay, 25% chance to protect buffs. Okay, 25% chance to uh, protect buffs on you from being removed and debuffs on your opponent from being cleansed. That's like the that's like corrupted armor with the uh, the, the protection aspect of it. 25% chance. Okay, holy items. Star holy item activates. 30% chance to inflict blindness. Interesting. Every three seconds, remove two buffs from your opponent and gain two regeneration. That is very out of this build because there's nothing in this build that been well i haven't seen all the items yet but from the items i've seen there's nothing in this build that really benefits from the regeneration or um the blindness unless you rock this and bloodthorn which could be a thing i mean this is a better regenerate wait is it yeah well i think this is a better regeneration uh generator than the heart container depending on how much it costs and everything you know what i mean because the heart container also gives you that regeneration but this removes the buffs at the same time and if you're stacking this with holy items you have that 30 percent chance to inflict one uh one blindness now the blindness doesn't last forever though it's every five seconds you know what i mean or not every five seconds four or five seconds um i wonder what holy items this build has I don't think the ones we've covered so far are holy. This is, yeah, that's a holy item. That's a holy item. But it's so many stars. I wonder if there's like a holy item that literally takes up one slot. Because this thing has a lot of stars. It's got a shit ton of stars. Uh, next item, Dark Lantern. I thought this was going to be something Frozen related. Oh, you see the little flame in there. It's not like an ice flame. It's like a dark flame. Okay. Dark fire. St what the? What? Start of the battle, you lose 50% health. That's not very appetizing. Okay. Before defeat, reincarnate with 50% life and become invulnerable for two seconds? On reincarnation, deal 10 damage for each fire item. Oh, look at the slots on this thing. So if you have fire items in all those slots, you pretty much on reincarnation, you're going to deal 40 damage. Interesting. And inflict six debuffs for each dark item. Six, 12, 18 debuffs. Wow. Okay. This is an interesting item. I don't know if I like it, though. The start of the battle, losing 50% health. But at the same time, you're going to get that health back. Before you get defeated, you're reincarnating with 50% life. I wonder if that can stack with the Phoenix. Or are they separate? You know what I mean? Like, before you get defeated, Phoenix activates, but this doesn't. And then you can get defeated again and come back to life again. And then this activates. Or do both of the abilities activate at the same time when you get defeated once that could be interesting that's that's got to that you know that's someone's got to test that but still interesting so you can pretty much deal 40 damage per fire item hmm i like that honestly especially if the battle's close you die before they die boom 40 health you're dead you know what i mean that could be really freaking interesting next item we got is the obsidian dragon all right interesting okay 15 heat gain gain three damage and trigger an extra attack whoa okay that's pretty interesting that's hmm i don't know how i feel about that i think the extra attack is the big thing here i think because that gaining of three damage is is very small for 15 heat gain unless you're just gaining a bunch of heat you know what i mean i feel like you wouldn't be able to rely on that for that dps scaling you know what i mean you probably have to rely on like burning sword or the burning blade i think those are the only two items that give you uh increase in dps scaling because this just increases its own dps you know what i mean so but yeah 
Um, you'd probably have to rely on Burning Blade or even the Burning Sword to increase the DPS of this. And then when you're gaining that 15 hit extra attack, you know what I mean? Hit twice, you know, which can be pretty cool. Okay, I can, that, that that's pretty dope though. That's pretty dope though. Now this one right here, Flaming Whip. Okay, I'm a little excited. I saw this. Look at the animation. It looks dope. Okay, okay. On a hit, uses one pierce to gain three heat and deal plus six damage. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I, I can see. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 You're gonna have to uh, yeah. You're gonna have to have a pineapple, I think, with this one because there's this class doesn't have a way of uh, gaining pierce by itself. There's no like specific items like the thorn whip itself gains you pierce or spikes, right? But this doesn't. This just uses spikes and or you know it just uses spikes. But the fact that you gain three heat is pretty. That's a large amount of heat to gain. You know what I mean? I thought this was gonna be the main way, main way of gaining heat, but honestly. Flame Wolf, it, it, it still has that stamina cost of one per second though. So it's got a high stamina cost usage. And it's only plus six, it, it's only, you know, plus six damage. Like this one gained plus five damage. But this one, you're dealing plus six damage. So it's not an infinite DPS increase. You're just going to deal the plus six damage each time you're hit, right? Each time you hit, you just gain plus six. But that's not going to increase over time, right? Versus the Staff of Fire. You know what I mean? So it's a pretty interesting little situation, especially if you don't have any spikes. It's probably just not the best way of going. You know what I mean? Because then you're not going to be able to get that plus six damage or get that heat, which sucks. So you're going to have to have pineapples with this one, I'm assuming. More than likely. Um, but still pretty cool, though. I love how it looks. And I love the fact that it changes the slots. You know what I mean? Instead of it being like that S-shaped that your thorn whip is, this is kind of like a like an L or like a, a you, you guys see it. You guys can see it, you know? It looks dope though. I love I love the way this looks. It's a flaming thorn whip. It's freaking awesome, okay? Interesting stats though. I gotta use you. I might fall in love with you, but from, you know, I give you like a seven, six out of 10 or something like that. Next one's the Emerald. Oh, poison. Okay, Emerald Whelp. Okay, poison. Okay, start a battle, gain the three clovers, you know what I mean? But on a hit, inflict three poison. That is interesting. And three, that's a that's a decent amount of poison. Three poison per hit on a heat build? You know how fast you could stack poison with this thing? I wonder if you could get the on uh, the dark scythe on this or the death scythe. Because that that's going to be plus six poison per hit. Imagine having two of these plus heat. You can get that cooldown down so fast with the amount of ways that you can just gain heat in this build. You know what I mean? Things are going to be speedy. Things are going to be speedy. You know what I mean? Have two of these. That's like 12. Like imagine getting this down to one second. You know what I mean? It's like 12 poison a second, bro. That's uh, I, I don't know how to even fathom that. Plus a dark saber. I don't look. OK, the bills are there. The bills are coming. The, the, give the community some time. We're going to be seeing some crazy stuff. Some crazy stuff with these. Man, I love the fact there's so many dragons too. Ice dragon. Okay, on hit, inflict one cold. Okay, opponent reaches 20 cold, gain 50 block. Huh. I like, I love the, I love the effect on this. I love the stats too. I like how it's like a block type of build. You know what I mean? Opponent reaches 20 cold, gain 50 block. I don't know how much I love that though. That seems like a little under, you know, I, eh, you know, pretty interesting though. Pretty interesting. I will say that it is definitely pretty interesting. I love the fact that on hit you inflict one cold though. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I can see Frostbite and the Ice Dragon probably getting like a nice combination, you know what I mean? Because they both have that on opponent reaches situation. You know? Interesting. Interesting though. Okay. I see that. Okay. 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 Sun Shield. On attack, 35% chance to prevent 14 damage. 
that's a lot of damage. Amber move 0.7 stamina, you know what I mean? Items, uh, SAR items gain 10. Holy sh- Oh! We're dealing damage with shields now? Star items gain 10 block, deal 4 damage? We're dealing damage with shit. Can you imagine this with like just a shit ton of vampiric armors? Or even just the ice armor, because the ice armor gains... Is that a perfect amount? That is a perfect amount. So every 5 seconds you would be dealing 4 damage. 4 damage isn't a lot, to be fair. But you'd be able to stack like four ice armors or one sun shield. That's like 16 damage. And then at the same time, you're gaining block. You know what I mean? So you're getting that survivability, and then you're also dealing damage with the sun shield. Imagine you have like two sun shields, maybe even three. That is in I wonder if there's a way to crit on this character. There's gotta be a way to crit on this character. It's gotta be a way. It's gotta be a way. Uh ver other than the um, where's that crit item? Is that this one? No, there's a different item that allowed you to crit. I don't know. I think it was this one, right? No. Next five items crit. Well, next, this one. No. Which one was it? This one right here. Yeah. Your next five hits are critical on 15 heat reached. That could be pretty damn interesting. Okay. Sun shield. I like you. I like you. I like the dealing of four damage. That is interesting. That is interesting. I do like that. Okay. Next item is the sun armor. This looks like the, uh, the holy armor combined with whatever you use to make sun stuff, which I'm just assuming flame or probably draconic orb. This is like the new uh, demonic crystal. <laughs> Treat this like the demonic crystal, honestly. That's that's what I'm treating like demonic crystal and all the other combinations are kind of similar. Uh, but yeah, sun armor. Okay, fire items are also holy. Oh, okay. Start of the battle, gain 70 armor. Okay, gain one heat for each holy item. Okay. Okay, okay. Every three seconds, use one heat to heal for 25 or remove two debuffs. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, every three seconds, use one heat and heal for 25. 25 is a big number. That's a lot of health to be healing. That is interesting. That is interesting. 25 health is a lot. That's a lot to be healing by, honestly. Okay. Three seconds, you see. Okay. I can see this is a good item. I can see this being you. Well, it's expensive though. The corrupted or the um the holy armor is pretty expensive by itself. And if this is pretty much like the corrupted crystal, this is gonna also be expensive. Like seven gold type expensive. So it's an expensive combination. But I could see that I could see this being pretty dope. That 25 heal is a lot. And then also the removing of debuffs is pretty nice too. Um, it's pretty much kind of like a corrupted armor in a way, you know. Pretty interesting. I like it though. Frozen flame. Start of the battle, you gain 15 block for each ice item, which you can have five. That's a lot of block. That's like what five, five times no, that 75 block. That's a lot of block. Okay. Five heat gain inflict two cold. Mmm. Mmm. That's a way to crit. That's your crit right there. That's your crit. That's your crit right there. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna just call it. diamond items have 2% crit chance and 2% critical damage. Wait, what? Oh, I read that wrong. Sorry. Five heat gain inflict two cold. I'm skipping for each cold on, uh, of your opponent. The item has 2% crit chance and 2% critical damage. This is like a mandatory. This is a mandatory. It's kind of interesting how it's only one item though. So I feel like you're just going to have to have that one item that deals with DPS and then just rely on cold or something like that. But yeah, ice items are offered in the shop. Wait, 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 hold up, 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 hold up. You're telling me this is like the deck of cards. You're telling me this is like the box of riches. Is that what you're telling me right now? Is that what you're telling me right now? It's like that. So you get the frozen flame, you have access to ice items, which I'm assuming means you can buy the ice armor. No combination, no combination. You can buy the ice armor. You can buy the frozen buckler. You can buy the book of ice. You can buy the spells of scrolls and maybe even the ice dragon. It, it works like that. Or maybe even a fucking frozen bite. No combination. Is that how 
Is that how it is? Because how else are you getting ice items? Because I thought it was just going to be a combination, right? But I don't see any ice items here that are kind of like, I don't see like an ice block of ice. I don't, I, you know, like the flame. There's no small ice item here, right? So I'm assuming if you get the frozen flame, boom, you have access to the ice items now. That is really interesting. That is awesome, though. I love that. Okay. Okay. So you just rock the frozen flame. Combine that bad boy with the frostbite. Boom. You got your one DPS item. And then you're just stacking on a shit ton of cold. Probably also got to have... You also got to have that heat generation, though, to inflict that too cold. So probably rock a... Um, maybe like a burning blade or something like that. Combine with the frostbite. Frostbite is DPS. Burning blade is your infinite uh, heat scaling situation. Unless you get the burning coal or burning, um, what do you call that? The little orb, the little orb thing, burning orb, burning rock, whatever you call it, rock or burning. I think it is burning rock, but yeah, that is awesome. I like that though. I like that. I like that a lot. Picasso, Picasso, big Picasso. I like that. I really like this item. Super Sid. Okay. So you really need like 50 cold. Imagine how sl that's a hundred percent. You know, that's slow. Opponent is going to be slow. And then the, um, what I really do like is that critical damage. Because I'm assuming that can just keep stacking. Because the biggest critical damage we've ever seen is 30%, right? From the piercing uh, arrow. You know what I mean? Imagine we get like... Because this is another way of increasing DPS, no? Or infinite scaling DPS. Because the more critical damage you have, the more damage you're going to do per crit. And that just keeps scaling infinitely the more cold that you're stacking on your opponent. That sounds amazing. This might be the best item. This might be the, this item. <laughs> this item right here might be one of the best items in this entire class. Bro. I'm gonna be honest. Frozen Flame has got my heart. All right, next item. Um, this one is, wait a second. This one's a... Uh... Oh, some of these were class items. Uh... Okay, we're gonna take a look at the class items separately. Okay, but yeah, um, start a battle gaining three clovers, two regeneration, four mana, and five heat. Okay. Oh, wow. Dragon attacks, heal for seven. That's pretty interesting. So the more dragons you have, the better. Obviously, I mean, you know, it is a dragon nest after all. And it's got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you got eight dragon nests right there. Um, I'm assuming... Yeah, most of these are just two slots. So it looks like the most amount of dragons are probably going to be to fit is like what? One, two, three, four, probably four, maybe five, something like that. Uh, dragon it hatches after one round. Oh, so that's how you get dragon eggs. OK, so you're not normally going to get the sapphire egg, the amethyst egg or the emerald egg unless you have this item, which means you're also not going to get them early versus like the um the ruby whelp you can get the ruby whelp pretty early you know what i mean but you're gonna have to wait until what was it round eight to get this one or round seven seven eight to get this uh to get this item and then you can get access to the emerald egg and is this a class item on me the frozen flame is like a guaranteed class item holy crap that is very interesting so at the beginning of the game you just stack on like your heat your heat generation boom round eight you grab the frozen flame, ice, straight ice items, bro. Straight ice items win the game. I can see that happening. I can see, I am so hyped for this class right now. Oh my gosh, I gotta play, I gotta play, I gotta play. This was interesting though. The fact that dragon eggs hatch after one round instead of two rounds is kind of groundbreaking in a way. Kind of groundbreaking. It's a little bit underwhelming because the other ability is dragon attacks heal for seven. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I mean, if you got like four dragons on this thing, and they all, all the cooldowns are the same, right? 2.2? Yeah, okay, so all the cooldowns are the same, right? So that's, that's like, what is that? It's like 28 heal every 2.2 seconds. You know what I mean? Which the other heal item was this one, which is every three seconds is 25. So you get more heal for less seconds versus, you know, that's a interesting comparison. I mean, the other heal item is probably just a chili goober. I don't know if there's any other healing items on this, but still, I mean... Pretty interesting. Very, 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 very interesting indeed. I like that though. I like that. I like that. And then the last item is, did we cover this one? Oh, we actually didn't. Okay, so 
Sapphire Whelp uh, started a battle, gained four mana, uses two mana to gain five block and a random other debuff. Huh. Did I say debuff? I meant buff. Interesting. It's kind of interesting how you can go like a mana route um, with this class. Because there's there was another mana item in here, I believe. It was like using mana for something. If I could just find it. Somewhere in here, I, I, I thought at least. But that, that's still pretty interesting. This one right here. So this one also uses mana. Interesting. But it has no mana generation. Like this, you, you're going to have to have a mana orb, right? Got to have a mana orb or something for that mana generation. Or maybe even a mana, uh, mana thirst could be kind of interesting too, in a way. Interesting though. Gain five block. And a random buff. The random buff is really interesting to me. It, it kind of reminds me of the um, of the bunny. How that gains you random buffs. Three random buffs after three, five, five seconds, I think. Um, but this is every hit. I just keep on thinking about the heat. How many buffs you could probably gain from this. Those buffs can be pretty crazy. Like the bunny is very capable of winning you games just because of the buffs. Like you could have the worst build ever. And then bunnies just give you a shit ton of buffs. So you win. Very, 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 very interesting. And then we also got Friendly Fire. I like the name. This guy is cute. I fucked with this guy. He's got a little heart. He's cute. A little explosions in the back. I like him. Every three seconds, he uses one mana to gain two heat. Okay, so this is... Every three seconds, though. Okay. Every three seconds. Interesting. Uses one mana 10% faster though for each fire item. What was that? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. This could be a hundred percent faster. You can make this guy every 1.5 seconds. He uses one mana to gain two heat. This is pretty much your infinite heat generator. 20 heat reach, gain five clovers. Oh. Interesting. So that's your way of critting. So it does have, it's got very specific ways of critting. So you don't really have to, uh, um, um, you don't have to, what's the word I'm looking for? In other words, you don't have to rely on the draconic orb for your crits. I mean, imagine you get two of these, you get 10 clovers. Oh, but you don't have the ranger bag. That's what I'm thinking of the ranger bag that gives you uh, crits on clovers. And the ranger is the only one with the uh, the acorn collar. So this is just going to give you accuracy. That's the only reason you'd have the clovers in this point, I guess. It's literally just for accuracy. Because you don't have the ranger bag to get the crit. Neither do you have the acorn collars to turn the clovers into crit, right? So it's, it's really just accuracy. So 20 heat, gain 5 accuracy. <laughs> um, gain 15 regeneration on 40. The big one, though, is that 80 heat reached deal 100 damage you know how much heat you're gonna have to reach in order to do that 100 damage that's 80 heat this is probably the best heat generator too you're turning mana into heat you know but you imagine a friendly fire combined with the phoenix you know how much health you're gonna have a shit ton okay you're gonna have a lot of health at the end of the day using that man that's gonna be a lot of freaking health wow what a class and now i want to look at the uh i want to look at the class items so these are the so there's five offered class items instead of three which means every uh, the, the the reaper and the ranger got new items too so we're gonna be covering those as well um but this is pretty interesting oh friendly fire is a class item okay huh so is the dark lantern Uh, okay. In my, in my, I don't, I, 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 I believe that the frozen flame and the dragon nest are the best class items for the Pyre Master. I don't really understand the burning banner. I mean, 25% chance to protect buffs on you from being removed. It's pretty interesting and debuffs on your opponent from being cleansed. You know, 25% chance. That's nice and all. But how many holy items are there that are going to activate in order for you to realistically rely on the blind? You know what I mean? And then every three seconds, remove two buffs from your opponent and then gaining two regeneration. That doesn't, it just doesn't seem amazing. 
it doesn't seem amazing like compared to the frozen flame giving you that crit chance and everything like that and every single five heat you're gaining inflicted to cold is pretty crazy that um the dragon s is pretty cool too you know dragon x hatching after one round healing for seven is pretty pretty solid friendly fire i do love your friendly fire that deal 100 damage i feel like it can be really freaking strong especially if you manage to crit that or something somehow some way it's going to be really freaking strong the 20 and the 40 don't really care about that but that 80 especially since it's an infinite way of gaining heat you know what i mean making all of your weapons way faster pretty interesting the dark lanterns interesting as well not really sure how i would use this considering you're losing 50 percent of your health at the start of the battle um i mean this could be a way to proc the 50 percent potions maybe i don't know you know those potions that only proc when you reach 50 percent health i mean it could be combined with that uh, before death reincarnate with 50 percent life and become invulnerable for two seconds the two seconds doesn't seem that long it's pretty much a, a holy book it doesn't seem that long i don't think it's a make or break um I guess the 50% life is pretty cool though. And then the dealing of 40 damage when you come back to life is wait a second. I honestly wonder if you could stack this with the with this guy. Because imagine you have three of these or two of these, right? Does that mean you're gonna keep dealing that 40 damage per fire item? Or does it only deal to 40 damage for this specific item when you reincarnate with this specific item? If it's like these both combine into one, that could be really strong. That could be really freaking strong. Because imagine you die, you deal 40 damage, you come back to life. And since you have two of these, you can die again and deal another 40 damage. All the while, your opponent is still trying to survive. Like at that point, they're probably going to die. That could be a really strong combination. I could definitely see that being like an extremely com uh, strong combination. I think right off the back though, my favorite is probably Frozen Flame. Definitely, definitely, definitely my favorite. Um, second favorite, I'd probably go with Friendly Fire just because of the infinite way of gaining that heat. Third favorite would probably have to be the Dragon Nest because dragons are awesome. Um, fifth favorite, probably going to be the Dark Lantern. And lastly is the Burning Banner. I feel like this is just underwhelming. Very underwhelming. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Tell me your thoughts on the Pyre Master. What builds are you going to be cooking up in your head? Uh, what are some good builds you already played with? Um, and send some screenshots in the Discord. Make sure you guys join that, guys. Send some screenshots in there. I would love to check it out. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be doing probably the Berserker next. Just go down the list, see how, see how those items are. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good one.